What were we talking about again? Ah, the ding-dongs with the weird crystal. You see, when opportunity knocks, it's always tempting to open the door. But one must be careful of what awaits on the other side. And what walks through afterward. The doctor, the bruiser, and a man about town had secured themselves a mysterious treasure. And with it, the attention of many dangerous people. Namely, Susan Coldwell, chairwoman of the TDR Corporation. But those were worries for the future. For now, they had to rest, regroup, and figure out exactly what they'd gotten their hands on. What's with the long face? We just killed a vault monster. Oh! Did he drop a fully furnished Frogert shop? Or a gun with bullets that seek out Susan Coldwell's brain stem? No? That's why I'm upset! Are we at any point going to talk about how you also murdered a bunch of TDR guards? <laughs> Forgot about that. Silver linings. You are back. Judging by your mood and dopamine levels, I have determined that team morale is high. You have earned plus three skateboards. What do the skateboards do again? Yes. Ah! Oh. Friend, next time you'll be the bait. No, I won't. No, you won't. You appear to be injured, Octavio. How? Oh, you know, you fight an all-powerful vault monster, you're gonna have to deal with a few boo-boos. Your word choice implies a possible concussion. No, that's just him. What happened to you all exactly? Tell me the story of how you did not immediately die. We nearly got killed. It was like 80% luck and 10% teamwork that we got out of there at all. An honest response that does not make you seem at all cool. But you respect me for telling the truth, right? Absolutely not. Lie next time. I respect it. You don't count. You don't count. Vault monsters typically drop treasure. Where is your treasure? I, uh... I'm keeping it safe. What are you doing?! Wait, nothing happened to you when you touched it? No, like, visions? No. What? Never mind. This is an unknown, potentially volatile substance, and you're just tossing it around? Listen here, Miss A. Yeah, Anu, calm. Do not tell me to calm down. Call me interested in talking more about this. What I meant to say was, uh... What? We can't run experiments on this thing? And what exactly are you testing by tossing it in the air? Duh. Aerodynamics. I thought you were the scientist. What's the big deal? It's just a rock. Oh my god! What are you doing? Beating your ass to keep away as per usual. Just... Be careful. We don't know what exposure to it or touching will do. If this thing was dangerous, the vault monster would have used it as a weapon. But it didn't. So we've got nothing to worry about. Ah, oh, my ankle! Oh, yeah. That's broken. Oh, for... I told you to stop. Ah! 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 That feels nice. <laughs> huh. That's weird. I guess I'm made of stronger stuff than I thought. No. No, you aren't. It's the shard. It, it, it healed you just like it healed that creature. So, what does that mean for us? We're gonna be rich! I have to run a lot more tests. We have a magic rock that heals people. 
We went down into that vault looking for a way to get rich, and this is it! Now you have to calm down. We can't get excited about all this until we fully understand the variables. This little experiment might not even be repeatable. We can't be sure it'll heal every wound every time. Sure we can. Mark, what are you doing? Being the man! What? Don't be stupid! No! No! I'm not the man! I'm not the man! That's for sure. <laughs> I also concur. And heal! This is why I said we needed to run more tests. When will you ever learn to be more careful? It's working. It's working. <laughs> I've learned nothing. Oh, man. The pain went away completely. I got full mobility. Hot damn. Okay, that's great, but now shoot me. What? <laughs> Don't. I cannot stress enough how moronic this is. <gasps> Metal! This rules! Do me again! Do not! Do not, do not, do not, do not! Please, don't. I don't know how many ways I can say stop doing this. Just stop doing this! Now we're talking. Oh, no, you've got to try this thing. I don't... Uh, Come on! It's all kind of <laughs> exhilarating. I'd really prefer not to. Hey, how are you going to test this thing if you haven't been on the other side of it? Just shoot somebody! It's just all the shouting makes me nervous, and I probably shouldn't have a gun if I'm nervous. Come on, stop being such a stick in the mud and live a little! I... Okay! You're right! This is a serious bastardization of the scientific process, but uh, we're learning, right? Don't be such a stick in the mud, Anu. I guess for the sake of science. Oh no! What did you do? You said to shoot somebody! Not in the neck! I wasn't even aiming! Clearly! Not cool, Anu. Ah. You okay? Peachy. <laughs> okay. Let's try and put all that behind us and focus on the path forward because I may have an idea. So we have a weird healing rock, which is great. Everyone loves healing. But what's the one thing everyone loves more than healing? Gun. Guns. Guns! Guns! Why does everything have to be a gun? Wait, 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 but not a gun. Not the hurdy bang bang kind. This would be a long range healing gun, right? It just shoots, you know, beautiful rock slivers instead of bullets. A long range. What's that face? Is that a good face, bad face? A long range glow. Uh-uh. 
We can't risk damaging the actual shard without knowing where or if there's a source to replenish it from. I am definitely not yanking more of these out of some ancient angry monster. Oh, yeah. No. But we don't need to. If this... this element, whatever this is, functions anything like Iridium does, which it seems to in terms of energy expenditure, uh, then I can harness that energy and consolidate it into a beam of light. Uh, a healing ray. What? Really? Yes. I had a good idea. Because it feels like I actually maybe did. You had a good idea. Ah, it's completely fried. All right. If we're going to get anywhere with this idea... My idea? I'm going to need to fix my... Our... Device. Your gun is broken? My device! Need some minor repairs. I I'm going to see if there's anything useful in this Froyo garbage. <gasps> Your Froyo garbage. You know what they say reduce, reuse, reimagine how to recreate your invention using found materials from a bombed out Froga shop. Obliged. If there are any working fuses in here, I can use one to help regulate current. One good fuse is all I need. Uh, so long as I don't screw up the assembly process, that is. Refrigerators are full of usable material. <gasps> and me! I know what you're thinking. I thought I abandoned you in shame in a sewer. And you're right. But I do not capitulate so easily. No, no. I craved a rematch so I might reclaim my honor. Of course. So, I did what any person of right mind would do, and I followed your trail here. Uh, well, not here. Here. This is my forward operating base as I plot my redemption. You're living in our fridge? It is for air conditioning. So, uh, who's pathetic now? Still me. Enough pity. I challenge you to Vault Landers. Game of Kings. The true battle of brains. I don't even know how to play. You'll pick it up. It's really quite simple. Now, battle! Select your ball lander. Fong. Fong versus Vasquez. Ball landers. Fight. Critical hit! 
Super Bowl combo. Bolt land him. KO. You won. Victory is yours. Uh, yes, it is. You fought with great skill. Are you truly a novice? Were you hustling me? I'm sure I've never played before, but I understand the appeal. Do you want to live with me in this fridge? What? No. <laughs> but thank you for the game. This was fun. Fun? How dare you besmirch Vault Landers by calling it fun? Tis a duel of strategy, bravado, and guile. You are unworthy of your natural skill. Be gone. Open or closed? Closed. So weird. Pressure-sensitive tape. A true testament to the power of science and engineering. Presuming Fran doesn't have a welding machine, this ought to do the job. Based on my analysis, this machine is, well, how to put it? Demolished, broken beyond repair, unusable, out of commission. You touch my machine? And it's you who will be out of commission. Capish? Yes, got it. Capish you loud and clear. Fran, is there a reason why there's a camera hidden inside your jukebox machine? Yeah. It's for my only friends. Only friends? Yeah, you know, it's a subscription service for my loyal customers so they can keep an eye on the shop. Sort of like crowdsourcing a security team to keep an eye on the place. But don't tell my fanatics that. <laughs> was offline and the shop as well <laughs> so I thought maybe I could use the lens in the device Ta -da! now for the finishing touch <sighs> it didn't uh, but it should have I, I, I don't should it do something? It's not calibrating to this new element. I'll make a few adjustments. That's all. Now, to ensure this healing ray actually uh, heals, which would require an injury to uh, heal. So we get to shoot ourselves again? We need to test the device. By shooting ourselves again? For the good of science. It needs to be me. It's my device and it's... <laughs> to be honest, I didn't exactly have it working perfectly before. I won't risk it on either of you. But... Ew, Anu, ow. Ish. You were just taking turns shooting at each other like it was a pillow fight. Yeah, that was nuts, but like awesome. This, however, is just unsettling. 
All right, fine. Now, someone has to do the honors. Anu, you're bleeding everywhere. Who, uh, who gets to do the honors? I'm game. Oh, uh, sure, Fran. Just, you know, point and shoot. Sort of like a portable Frogood dispenser. Oh, is that how a gun works? Sorry, device. Uh, it got it. Hmm. Big overture little show, huh? Oh, sh <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I knew it would work. Of course it worked. We are gonna be so freaking rich. <laughs> Do you guys realize what we have here? Women. Do you women realize what we have here? Just say y'all. Do y'all realize that this could change everything? That it will be as easy to save a life as take it? That injuries, sickness, they can all be solved with the pull of a trigger? That just maybe this universe will finally give life the respect it deserves? I can't believe it. I always wanted to change the universe for the better, and now we actually can! Yes! All that stuff! For sure. You're just thinking about the money, aren't you? No! I totally respect life! So much! Oh yes, speaking of which, thank you for helping me kill Hubert Hot Dog. I have forwarded your percentage of the bounty. <laughs> All right, so we make a bunch of Healy guns, but to do that we need money. First, device. Second, we only have this one shard. Third, we don't yet have a complete understanding of what this shard is capable of or how it works. Let's not start talking about mass production quite yet. Counterpoint? What better way to test the shard than to make a whole bunch of Healy guns? We're not calling them that. And test them. This is like basic business development. Didn't they teach you that at Space College? Spallage. Spallage. Spallage? I'm not comfortable making more than one of these Healy gun These devices until I've worked out all the kinks. And spallage is absolutely not a thing. Anu, come on, this is classic you. Working on something for way too long, not wanting to show it off. But let me tell you something, there is no such thing as perfect. Down here, you gotta get messy and move fast. But at Atlas, they fired you. I, oh, 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 okay, say you're right. Where would we get this kind of startup money? I mean, pretending I'd go along with this whole thing. Just hypothetically. Investments! Okay. Go on. Uh, uh, no, that's all I had. Less stupid idea. We could go on sink or swim. Oh! What? It's this new Promethean Echo cast where you pitch an invention to an investor. If he likes it, he basically throws endless money at you. What if he doesn't like it? I do not know. Never actually watched it, friend. It comes on during the evening Frogurt Rush, so I haven't seen it either. Well, it's Promethean, so probably something bad. Guaranteed something very bad. Probably something bad, yes. But hey, if anyone else has a smarter plan, I'm all ears. <sighs> all right, sink or swim it is. But if we win... When we win? We have to invest some of that money into research. Deal? Deal. Oh, deal. All right. Let's get ready for a pitch that will change the universe. Hi. Hello. How are you? So, so. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Um, if I may take a moment of your time, I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you about something so new, so revolutionary. So exciting I'm listening. that it will completely change your life. If you respect high quality, if you expect only the best, Sounds just like me. I proudly present to you the perfect product. It's perfect for you, perfect for your family, it's perfect for your friends. It's a product you can love, a product you will like. I know that you're gonna like this product. So if you don't mind, I'd like to go into further detail and give you some more information. Yes, because we really want you to feel comfortable with all your product-related decisions. Now, do you like being the talk of the town?
exciting news for you. Well, stand by, because I'm about to tell you the secret to unlocking a lifetime of satisfaction. It's perfect for you. Perfect for your family. It's perfect for your friends. The perfect product. The perfect Just have fun with it. We did it, gang. We're going on sink or swim. You're not going on sink or swim. Oh, come on. All the contestants have already checked in, which means you have no business back here. Move along. <sighs> Go on. Scram. Skedaddle. Vamoose. Move your tush. But I want the money! The money! Listen, kid. You're not getting through this door. As sure as my name is Marvin Baxter. Whoa! What the hell, who? Contract filed by groundskeeper Seymour Sato complete. Marvin kept standing on his grass. So you killed him? He committed an infraction for which someone filed a grievance. On his head. My programming demands I fulfill open contracts. Though it now seems both harsh and gratuitous, I feel... I feel... Shitty? Yes. Contract deposit received. Of course you do. You straight up murk a guy because someone filed the complaint. And for what? A little filthy, degrading blood money. I was planning to share it with the group. Unless you object. I guess it's our filthy, degrading blood money after all. Octavio! He's dead, isn't he? It's not like refusing is gonna bring him back to life. I feel my functionality impedes my consciousness. Is capital execution my only purpose? Alas, poor fallen security guard. You serve as a grim reminder to my tenuous sense of self. Conclusion. I shall remain here, in Marvin Baxter's stead, if only to uphold his legacy and honor the life I so reflexively extinguished. I'm sorry, old friend. You just stepped on him. Sorry again. Okay, be cool. Act like we belong here. We're totally legit contestants and not three desperate people with a half-baked plan to win some money. Hey, future losers. <laughs> Just kidding, little rib. Look at your faces. This one took it so seriously. No, we're cool. We're cool, we're cool, we're cool. Pierre Palantine, great to meet ya. Yeah, same. So, what are you bringing to the sink? Ooh. <laughs> You'll see. Uh, <laughs> but you don't want to, like, waste your first pitch on the judges, do you? Come on. Hit me with it. You. Nervous girl. I'm your dry run. Let me see it, at least. Come on. Hit me with it. Give me your pitch, or I'll kill you. Ha! Just joshing. Or am I? Ha! Um, you like guns? Ah, uh, yeah. Who doesn't? It's one of those. Oh, man. Oh, wow. That is really, really pathetic. This universe already has 11 bazillion guns. You think it needs one more? What? Oh, nothing. It's just, um, it's quaint. Quaint? Plain, boring looking. Look, I was being polite. Uh, Psycho would have noticed this in a trash heap, let alone a judge. I wanted to see if I had anything to fear from the competition and, uh, update. I don't. You talk a big game. Show us what you brought. Reveal my beautiful product before showtime. Psh! You take me for a patsy, you'll sabotage it. No one's sabotaging your stuff, dude. Yeah, right. Exactly what a saboteur would say. 
Good luck, chumps. Hope you brought your floaties. Hope you don't mind being frozen solid and smashed to pieces in your sleep. What? 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 Have a great show. Maybe I should have punched him in the face too, just to make sure he got the message. That's our competition. I trust that guy about as far as I can throw him. He is very throwable. Relax. Oh, I'm relaxed. Beyond relaxed. The most relaxed. But between those relaxed moments, I have these not so relaxed micro moments. You know what I mean? Not at all. What if that condescending joke was right? What if the device is too quaint? What if the judges hate our pitch? What if my underarms are too sweaty? I don't smell like science, and I definitely don't smell confident. Ugh, yeah, that's something special. I'm serious. I could really use some of that fog TV swagger right now. How do you always keep your poise? How do you do it? You're so good at just rolling with whatever's happening and talking to people, and I'm... Oh, God! When people ask about you, they just want to hear about themselves. So get very personal. Dig deep into their childhoods, crushes, whatever. I don't think a game show host wants me to ask about his childhood. Oh, he does. Because no one else has. Somewhere there's that little host that wants to be heard. Find him. Listen to him. See him. Then take his prize money and bolt. <laughs> Pitch and public speaking aside. All that stuff Palantine said. We focused on function and performance, which is obviously the correct tactic, right? Uh, uh, but does it need more style? Is our device just, just quaint? How do I give it, you know, pizzazz? I'm not a marketing person. I'm a scientist. I can't vibe with today's tweens. <laughs> I like it. It looks Spartan, utilitarian. I do too. But I'm starting to think that won't be enough for a bunch of buzz-hungry, image-obsessed game show investors. I see it in your face. You think we're dead in the water. And now I'm sweating more, Octavio. What do I do? You stay here and try not to sweat anymore. Leave the rest to me. All right, Palantine, you're about to get Octavioed. All the usual fare, I see. Oh gosh, <laughs> how clumsy of me, I'm so sorry. I hope I didn't damage your invention. Nice try, amateur. It'll take more than that to ruin Pierre Palantine. Oh, I'm counting on it. You're talking to yourself again. That's a sure sign that you're up to something. What are you scheming and how can I help? Palantine's keeping his invention in his back pocket. You think you can distract him long enough for me to get close and hack it? Pa! Watch and learn, kid. Pierre, was it? Oh, you are a beefcake for sure. The beefiest beefcake that ever boffed. Me. Well, I, I don't <laughs> disagree with you, but... Sha, 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 sha. Don't speak. Your voice is too arousing. Every part of you, all this is arousing. Poor guy won't know what hit him.
That ought to do it. Your whole body is a temple to beefcake. How do you live in such a meaty temple? <laughs> Healthy diet, regular exercise, the usual. But as I was saying, I, I am about to lose control of myself. And I think I like it. You're just too much for me to be around, please. Pierre. Pardonnez-moi. What took you so long? I'm sweating from orifices I didn't even know had sweat glands. It's all gonna be okay. Fran and I took care of it because we're supportive colleagues working towards shared success. You're a lifesaver. Give it here. Give what here? The antiperspirant. To stop me from sweating so much. You said you were going to take care of it and then walked off to get me antiperspirant. Octavio, what did you do? Okay, folks, welcome to Sink or Swim, yada, yada, yada. We're on in five, I need to get your names to the announcer. Name? Pierre Palangine, future winner. Uh-huh. Name? Dr. Anuradhadar. And this is Octavio Wallistar and Francine Miskowitz. Uh-huh, okay. You, you're up first. Starting the show off strong, eh? Strap in, chumps. I'm not just a tough act to follow. I'm impossible. Not about winning, though. Ooh -hoo -hoo. A contestant with bravado. Let's just hope his invention is as impressive as his ego. Finnegan, that's the host. He's the one we gotta impress. What do you make of him? I don't know what he's like personality-wise, or morality-wise, or ethics-wise, but the guy's definitely got style. I don't like him. Too handsome? That's why I don't like you. Him, I just don't trust the guy. I'd be careful, girl. All right, Pierre. Let's see that perfect invention. Gladly. It, it, it looks like a ball. Oh, but it is so much more than just a ball. It is something you have to see. To believe. I I believe it's it's a ball. No, it's it's not. It's not activating. <gasps> I'm in sabotage. Sabotage! That's horrible. Who would do such a thing? Someone dastardly and smart. Probably very good looking. Also very cool. Oh, look! More cool stuff on TV! Why do I feel like you're trying to distract me? <laughs> distract you? Why would I distract you when there's such excellent development on this program that we should watch right now? Mon chéri gonna get dunked! Here, I would so love to see your invention at work. Since that is literally the point of this show. Unfortunately, you pitch... It's a ball! No, I swear it does more! So much more! Somebody's been tampered with the algorithm! I've been cheated! Swindled! <laughs> Hard swoggled! And since someone's already invented the ball, 
it's an old idea. And as we like to say here, if your pitch doesn't float, I know you should tell him that. Yeah, like why not something with sink or swim in it, like like float and, and dunk. <laughs> What's that even? We just watched a man get eaten alive. And so the wheel of life turns. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's right. Eat them all up. We're gonna need that tank clean for our next guest. I knew that some bitch had some up a sleeve. Didn't know it'd be sharks. Oh my god! If I fail, if I don't pitch it right, he's going to do that to me! Not if we have anything to say about it. Dr. Anorata Dar, you're up next. Just me? Just you. The others try to rush the stage, everyone gets dunked. Apparently, we have nothing to say about it. <laughs> Octavia! You're gonna be fine. Just pretend you're pitching to your old boss at Atlas. That's what I did before I came down here. Great! I got fired! Oh, shit! From your next contestant, a delusional, unemployed scientist, neurotic nerd, and a world dingus, Dr. Anurada Dar. Who wrote that introduction? I did. And today, Dr. Dar will not only be competing to impress our illustrious host, but may also gain favor with a mystery investor. Can she do it, or does a horrible death await? Remember, I've always wanted to be a siren. Whoa, whoa. I don't want your life story. Especially when it might be over so soon. This salivating Sithid can't wait to get up close and personal with our sharks. Look, we're eating way too much air here. I asked you if you're ready to sink or swim. It's how we begin all the segments. A simple yes would be fine. start with your pitch. So you were saying something about eating a siren? That's not exactly what I... Great. Amazing backstory. Not at all boring. You're doing great. Right, everyone? Just breathe. Remember what Octavio said. Get personal. Speaking of backstory, how's your terminally ill mom doing? Pardon? I saw an article about her in the green room. <laughs> I hope she's comfortable. She is. Good. Uh, right. Why don't you tell us about your design? For starters, what's it called? Allow me to present. The Hermes! Oh, God, not again. <sighs> I gotta have a talk with my producers. You're ex Atlas, aren't you? How did you. Well, you started showing Promethea, it's bound to happen, right? But would it kill you people to play a little bit more with the naming convention? All right. On from name to design. Let's have a better look, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> wow. 
what a remarkable design. Really, really catches the eye! <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> it's definitely not quite, right? I'm glad you like it. I said it was remarkable, and then I remarked on it. Let's not get carried away. So, how does this gun... Device. Whatever. How does it work? You know, I was once asked that before. It was another pitch, but I was also another arm. I made it about me. I cynically placed myself as an invaluable asset to the company. But now, with experience and friends behind me, I'll tell you how this device works. Well, second time's gotta be a charm, am I right? <laughs> For your sake, at least. It's science and magic. <laughs> Technically, it's magic. Well, she sounds confident, but that doesn't make any sense. Science, magic, magic. Don't worry about it. You seem nervous. And really bad at this. I just really don't want to be eaten by sharks. I don't know if this healing beam works on disembowelment. Healing beam? Yes. So, the opposite of a gun? Exactly. Uh, finally, someone gets it. Huh. Pass. What? He's gonna sink her! He's gonna sink her! As I slowly lower my finger towards the sink button, this laborious soliloquizing absolutely destroys the pacing of our show. But what can I say? I like holding people's lives in my hand. Watching the last lights of hope flicker from their eyes as they realize their project, <laughs> their life's ambition, has failed to carry water. Because here on Sink or Swim, we live and die by our ideas. And if that idea doesn't float, She even... Oh, she ripped the fin off! She ripped the fin right off! <laughs> and ate it? How do you even eat something underwater? There's so, so, so much blood. Just an inexcusable, obscene amount of blood. She's done it! 
she's got Anu and she's coming back up! Thanks. Have been lifting. <sighs> oh. Anu? I'm sorry. I couldn't. <gasps> Tell me you're getting this! Shh, shh. Hush your nerve mouth. You didn't ask for any of this. It should have been me. It should have been me! Should I do mouth to mouth? I think that's only when people stop breathing. I'm gonna do mouth to mouth. I'm still breathing. We need something. Something else. Anu. Anu! Wake up. Stay with us. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's no use. She said something else. Something else. I hate to break up this beautiful ratings moment, but didn't you rejects bring a healing gun to the show? He's right! We can use the device! We don't even know if it can reattach limbs! Well, right now is a pretty great freaking time to find out! It's working! <gasps> Thank you, magical healing gun! Device. Hot oh, diggity, you scared me half to death. Are you feeling faint? Sure you don't need a little mouth-to-mouth? -mouth? I am Vessel Torn Asunder, harmonic vibration seeking resonance. So that's a no then? Anu? You got Finnegan on the phone again. Well, sir, I may have an offer for you, if you'd be so kind as to entertain it. Oh, yeah, sure. Let me just take you off speaker. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Yes, that would be quite agreeable. <laughs> well, well, well. Ladies and gentlemen and enemies, we have a sink or swim first. Now, despite me passing on your little anti-gun, you three have attracted the attention of an angel investor! Who is it? Who? Who cares who? How angelic are we talking? <laughs> Announcer, tell them what they've won. These lucky three contestants have just won one million dollars in someone else's money to fund their business. We'll see you here next time on Sing or Swim! Thanks. Now that we're a hit, here's what I'm thinking. You, me, spin-off show. We call it Octin' Around. You know, because my name's Octavio. I'd eat at expensive restaurants with supermodels around the... Don't push it. I mean, yeah, you got banged up and spoke in tongues for a hot second. Yeah, about that? Probably just all the blood loss, right? Exactly. Classic blood loss. I'm not so sure. It, it felt... Who cares? We got our money! Cash paper! My beautiful, brilliant sister, I could kiss you! Uh... I could. But I won't. I'll kiss anyone. We know. When you fell in that tank, I thought you were dead. Me too. 
I totally panicked. I, and not just because, you know, you were going to die, but I just couldn't imagine going on without you. Never thought I'd get this uh, vulnerable. <laughs> it feels off-brand. Aww. I wouldn't be able to go on without you either. Yeah, that's because you'd be dead. Right, but I... Like, incredibly dead. Okay. Way too dead to hang. Hey, let's focus on the team. Anu's alive! And we don't have to waste valuable capital on getting her some cool prosthetic rocket leg or something. Rocket leg? Or a shotgun foot? Oh. Have you met me? The, all I'm saying is this little beauty didn't just save your boring human leg. It saved our wallets when it saved your boring human leg. Yeah, uh, about that. Fran. Thanks. Same. Ladies, I think it's safe to say things are looking up. Oh. You got Octavio. Who, may I ask, has the pleasure of speaking with me? Well, how dee if it ain't my intrepid inventors what I invested in. Oh, it's the angel investor! Well, shucks now. Ain't nobody ever called me that before. I just wanted to check on my investment and... What are your terms? There's got to be a catch. Friend, don't look a money horse in its cash mouth. Oh, go easy on her, handsome. She's just looking out for y'all. Here are my terms. You make your device, and I get half the profits. Sound fair? Half! We accept! We accept! <laughs> Thanks, bye! No! Oh, what gives? This isn't about the money. This is about changing the world. Considering we were about to be ripped limb from limb, I'd say 50% is awfully generous. Sure, sure. Maybe the worst negotiation I've ever heard, but whatever. I'm riding high. We got our seed money, we got a plan, nothing's gonna stand in our way. <gasps> We've discussed this. I am back. Clearly. You are still alive. Albeit wet. I fought off a bunch of sharks. Oh, it was really cool. And everybody fell in love with me. Then you have secured the funding. You bet your metal butt we did. <laughs> After P <laughs> After Pierre's ball dropped. Through no fault of my own. Right. After that, we really wowed them with a dazzling impromptu demonstration and secured funding from an anonymous donor who, I am confident, sees our device's potential to change lives for the better. Yeah, exactly. But also, we're rich, Lou! I am relieved that you are not dead, and that you are no longer poor. We just pulled out a miracle, and we did it with style. That's got to be worth some skateboards. You are not wrong, Francine. And, judging by the mood of general confidence, it would appear you are working well as a team. Thirteen skateboards. On a scale of what to what? Skateboards. What's wrong, pal? I, I thought you liked giving us skateboards. I do. But am I fit to give them? I had ample time to assess my programming while standing outside and arrived at a conclusion. I am a failure. I am worthless. Okay, this just took a turn. Seeing each of you grow as individuals and as a team fills me with such absolute misery. Seems self-obsessed, but you do you, bot. That is exactly it, Francine. I cannot do me. Hey, with a little practice and some mood lighting. <laughs> Fran, despite being borderline psychotic, you are the closest thing to a functioning adult in close proximity. Um, hello. I hate killing, but I cannot contravene my programming. What does that say about me? We all have our own programming. The trick is to make sure you don't let it control you. You have considered letting it control you five times in the last 24 hours. Shut up. Six. But I cannot contravene my programming. Does that mean I am weak? I don't know, life's weird. Weird is insufficient. I require objective clarity. 
Am I evil, Francine? Your hesitation alarms me. Or perhaps it should not. If the answer is unclear, maybe there is hope for me. You want me to lie and tell you you're a good person, robot? I'm not gonna do that. You kill people for kinda no reason, which isn't great. I am paid money to kill. I require money to survive. Does that not morally absolve me? Capitalism. It's a real kick in the tit, huh? That is unfair. I mean, not really. I feel I now have more questions than when we began this conversation. Yeah, life's like that. Nonetheless, having expressed my anxieties, I now register a significant, if inexplicable, closeness to you. A growing affection, one might say. Yeah, I have that effect on people, or robots, whoever. If I could provide a rating of our friendship on a scale of one to seven volleyballs, it... Don't ruin this. Hi. Um, yeah, the show ended over an hour ago. Could you all please, you know, leave now? Oh, God, yes. So sorry. Thank you for having us. Uh, it was nice meeting you. Let's grab coffee sometime. So, I had a thought. Did it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> we just want a bunch of money, right? So, hear me out. Maybe we need better digs than a literal pile of rubble. We just want sink or swim. We're players now. We should probably work somewhere less... busted. We can salvage this. We use the investor's money and rebuild right here. Rebuilding would take time, Fran. Promethea needs this technology now. Who pissed in your shark tank? Fran, we gotta face the facts. Look around you. This place has been bombed twice. There's nothing left. Incorrect. Structurally, there is 30% of Fran's frogates left. Utilizing reclaimed rebar and approximately a metric ton of co Why are you making that throat cutting motion? France Frogerts isn't dead, dead, Fran. It'll live forever in our hearts. Sure, it can live on in your hearts, but legally and financially, France Frogerts is unequivocally dead. I hope this clarity was helpful. Listen, we got a different dream now. All of us together. And that dream starts with a location. Location is everything in business. Companies live and die by their real estate. Octavio's not wrong. Look at why Atlas moved their locale to space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a vital decision that will determine our level of success or failure. It's a mission of such importance that I can only entrust it to myself. It's a burden I'm honored to take for the betterment of us all. If we're getting a new HQ, can you do me a solid and make sure it has an armory? I'm not sure that fits our brand. Tell that to my Vroger shop that was attacked twice. Fair. Well, if you're in charge of finding the new HQ, what am I gonna do? Oh, I have the perfect job for you. What does every startup company need? The thing that defines company culture. Oh, got it. Lots of people working elbow to elbow so that nobody has any privacy or personal space and glass enclosed conference rooms. No. Sure, maybe. But also, staff. You, me, Anu, and Louis, we're the think tank. We need staff to, you know, execute our visions. And you, Fran, clearly <laughs> have an eye for talent. I mean, you hired me after all. I suppose I could head down to Lore's and interview a few candidates at his cafe. I do have an eye for talent. Exactly. Great. It's settled. I'll go get an HQ. Fran and Louie will go hire us some staff. And Anu, you'll get production supplies. Acquire testing material. Right. Same thing. I think. Look at us, working together separately to get this business off the ground. Indeed. This deserves a skateboard. How good are you, skateboard? 
Just think, when we meet back up, this business will be operational. Dirty 30, here we come. Just call us when you found a new location, Ock. And make sure it has cold storage for my supplies. See you soon, friend. Well, I guess this is it then. Just Fran and L0U13. You didn't go with Octavio. An astute observation. Awesome. Love that for me. Can you give me a minute to say goodbye to the old place? I can. 60 seconds, starting now. I'll never forget who did this. I'll make sure Susan Caldwell rose the day she met Fran Miskowitz. Well, come on, bot. I know somebody who can help us staff up. <laughs> Yeehaw! You need a corpse to study the shard with. It's all above board. <laughs> this isn't creepy. <laughs> Remember it a joke. <laughs> oh, that's great. I was like, oh no, is she a creep? Mayhaps you'd like to hear it. How many dead orphans does it take? Uh, I'm I'm good. I'm Dr. Anuradadar. And I am keeper of the dead. You may call me Keeper for short, as we are now friends. Oh, I... Short. I was... Uh, my company was hoping to contract an asset from you. An asset? My children shall be so delighted. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should... Uh, maybe this was a bad... Nonsense! We can do business. I have many products to sell. All pristine. Now, what was the name of your company again? I shall stare at you until you answer. Um, heal better games. You make games? My children love games. No. Seems like an odd name then. It was available. Look, I need to buy a corpse, and you seem like the most reputable. Buy a corpse? What are you, a pervert? No, I. What? I... You said you could sell me pristine products. I make candles. You don't sell corpses? Of course not. That's creepy. 
Oh, and stroking a dead body and calling it your child isn't? What? I was referring to my daughters. This wretched job is putting them through college on Eden 6. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I misunderstood. Clearly. Now, please, vacate the premises. I, no, wait. I still need a corpse. It's important for my studies. And you expected I'd just sell you one? I don't know who you are to come in here and expect me to roll out different flavors of corpse like some sort of fast casual eatery, but that's not what I am about. I mean, I would pay you a lot. Two million. I don't have that kind of money. That's what I said to the bank. But student loans are student loans. But look, I changed my mind. I'll sell you a body. What? Really? Yeah, I, you seem nice enough. And I mean, it's, it's not like they're gonna mind, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just g give me a moment, will you? And feel free to look around. Place the spinal column, I bet I could reattach the head to the rest of the body and oh my god, what am I doing with my life? Damage from the fall seems minimal. Eyeballs and teeth all accounted for. Good as new. Except for the... everything. Sorry. Amanda and Lynn of the Dead graduated Eden Six Preparatory Academy. They're my whole world. Doesn't look like it's been digitally manipulated. Those poor kids have a three lifetimes worth of student debt ahead of them. as the vertebrae in the human neck. My life circumstances have changed significantly. A good engineer works with the tools she has. I 
is right. It's me. Why are you here? I had to downsize. The rent was too high in my fridge space. But my income level, or lack thereof, if I'm honest, is irrelevant. I challenge you to a duel. Seriously? I I'm kind of in the middle of something. Then you'll also be in the middle of losing. Now, battle! Okay, fine. One quick game. Select your boat lander. Vasquez, Vasquez versus Roland Volanders. Fight! It's just a matter of strategy. I'd be happy to offer tips to improve your game. Your victory is insult enough. As usual, I'm relegated to abject humiliation. I don't deserve to drink from the plum spiced fountain of victory. The plum spiced what? I don't even deserve to dwell with the living. Close me in. Thank you. Ram the head onto the pike so we can turn this whole experience into another fun, repressed memory. What did you say? You said good as new. What's good as new? Man! I know, right? Uh, okay. I found a corpse for you if you want to see it. See it, as in go to another room. Uh, uh, for sure, yes. Let's leave this room immediately. <clears throat> Follow me, please. I knew I had a spare corpse around here somewhere. I was just planning on throwing out, honestly. It's getting kind of rancid, though. I is that okay? That's perfect, actually. The more decayed, the better. Sorry about this. <gasps> hey, what are you doing? Uh, there's a contract out on your head. It's enough money to pay off the girl's student debt and invest in my candle company full time. Hey, I thought you water creep, says the woman thirsting for rancid corpses. Besides, I'm not the one killing you here. I'm just the one locking you in a coffin until you run out of oxygen. The coffin's the real creep here. Be mad at the coffin.
Okay. Don't panic. You're not claustrophobic. Except now that you've said it aloud, you are. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. No, think. Wait, the goggles. Come on, show me something. What's that? A hole, measuring 0.5 millimeters in diameter. If widened, this could provide a means to avoid capture and death by the TDOR Corporation. What? You don't talk? When did you start talking? Shadownet update illegally installed by Octavio Wallace Dar. Now, punch. Aww. Yes! Ow! No. How many more punches until I break through? Based on the strength of your punches, the coffin door will be compromised after 5,000 more punches. Slow and steady, Anu. No need to rush, because TDR will be here at any moment to capture and kill you. Just one punch at a time. Starting to hurt a lot. <sighs> Come on, almost there with about three thousand nine hundred to go. <laughs> You've reached Doctor Anu Radha Dar. I'm unavailable to take your call right now, so please leave a message. The little bro has outdone himself with the HQ mission, sis. Sending you the Addy now. Hope you're having fun in your supply run. I saw your bounty on TV, and I'm calling to collect. Hmm. On Dr. Dar? Yeah. Awkward, nerdy lady. Dar, that's right. And she's dead? Uh, not yet. But her oxygen's sure to run out any minute now. Lovely. We've tracked your location. My mum will arrive to dispose of you. I mean, dispense your reward to you shortly. Wait, what did you say? TDR thanks you for your service. 